Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I would like to talk with you about card swiping in principle. Now what we are going to need is to open up principle. Just open up a new document in principle and I want to create like a little prototype or basically, basically like a wireframe in principle to show you the effect that we are going to uh, create today. Now at first let's create a rectangle, hit R for that to like get a basic uh, status bar so we can like create a small little prototype as I said. Let's also add some colors so we get like a little more high fidelity prototype but this is still low fidelity. Now and basically what we are going to do is to copy this top layer to make a tab bar at the bottom and in the middle we are going to create new cards like this, change the width to 300 pixels and give them like any height so that they are fitting uh, our screen right here, our artboard. I'd also change the color, maybe we can also make it just white and now Let's just copy this layer and let's move it to the right. And we can also say we want to move it to the left. Or you could also start with, in our case, layer 3 as the first one and arrange them to the right side. And as I said, we want to like create a page swipe animation. That means you have to group them up. You can simply uh, group them up by hitting this icon right here or saying comment ng. Now you have this group. All you gotta do right now is to drag over these borders, these boundaries right here to the actual position of your card like this. And then you have to set the horizontal uh, setting to page to get a basic card animation like this. That's basically all you have to do. You can, of course, also say you want to scroll, which means you can like just hassle through all these uh, files right here. And let me show what I let me show you what I mean. If you create like a huge list or a huge amount of layers like this, then you probably want to have a swipe animation like a normal. Uh, yeah, like a scroll animation like here, but in our case we want to use page animations uh, to, oops, to actually get this nice effect of moving a page around and it's not like re really working anymore but what we're going to ch do is to jump over to an actual file and this is probably like one of the most used cases that you want to use a page animation for. It's an e-commerce file and you have these shopping carts, very usual. And on this right side, let me plan out this other stuff, uh, you have this page animation that I just created, very simple. We also have a group of these cards and we set the horizontal setting to page. Now you see these cards. I only have three of them, but I also made a different version on the right side, which is this one. And as I said right here, we only have them, or basically we are starting with the left one and we can swipe to the right if we want to do that. Now what I want to show you is a cool animation, a cool feature that you should probably use to help the user to understand what the current card or what the like basic card is that he's currently viewing. Now uh, what we are going to do is to open up drivers and we really didn't work with drivers for a long time. And we have these cards right here in our group and the normal card folder is the center card and this is the card which is uh, like the standard card, the landing card if you want to call it like that. When the user opens up the app, he is seeing this one and the card 2 and card 3 are on the left and on the right. 
And of course, what I want to achieve is to blind out or to like change the opacity of these other cards or basically change the opacity of the card that it's that is not visible in the latest uh, view. Now you see right here that both of these cards all look the same and if we swipe to the right this still looks like a fully visible card and I want to change that. Now let me explain you what I mean. So we are starting at the zero right here at the, at the x value zero and I want to change of our card of the basic card I want to change the opacity so you simply click the icon and change or select the value opacity and then you can simply drag around this bar right here and in my case I have to change it to 310 pixels by the way, these files are also down in the video description if you want to have a look at them. And now we simply change the value to 75 or maybe 50% in this case. So if I'm like using this bar right now, you see the actual effect. Of course, we also have to do this the other way around because um, if we have this right here in the middle, our central card should still be only at 50%. Just like that. And right now you see that it's actually really easy to have this effect. Then what we have to do of course is to do the same thing with card 3 and card 2. Now let's go back to 0% like that and card 3 should be at a 50% opacity. When we're going to this side, it should be at a 100% opacity. And when we are going to the other side, it should also have this 100% opacity. And of course, we're going to do the same with the second card. At this state, it should have the 50% opacity, oops, of course we have to select the opacity value right there, 50% on this case, uh, in this uh, state it should be 100% and on this state 310 pixels it should be 100% uh, as well. Now let me make this a little bit bigger so we can like get a really f great view of what we just achieved. Now you see that the opacity of the cards is really changing once uh, they are at the corner or at the yeah corner of the screen and that's like really a great effect and that's really helping the user to see which card he's currently visiting or viewing and that he's moving away from the one card to the other card. It's a really smooth animation Around here both cards should have a 75% opacity and the one is decreasing, the one is increasing. Just like that, really really easy. And I think that's a great effect as I said. And on the second example that I prepared, I'm using basically the same effect that we already used. Uh, we have these cards right here. And let me try something if I just copy these cards and if I drag them over to the right, it should actually just give us the ability to browse through all these cards. And usually on websites like Amazon and so on, you have so many products that you can browse through. And right now here you see that it's not working anymore, that the products are like viewed in a weird way and the last thing that really works well is this card. So you have to, you have to do like some adjustment right there. Uh, maybe it's also because of the group. But let me try out something to oops to understand what problem we are currently facing. 
I think it has to do with these boundaries right here. Not 100% sure, but I guess that's the point, that's the problem that we have right here on this example. You see that these cards are looking very weird and usually they shouldn't look like that. Um, there should be of course a fix, so if you are facing this problem you really have to align uh, this boundary that you have right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's also because of the group that we created. Let me try out something else. So we have these cards right here. Yeah, let me do this from the start. So we have this first card and let me just copy the card. Oops. Let me just copy this card uh, to the right side. So you see, you are also probably facing some problems when creating such a page swipe or scrolling animation. The scrolling should actually work just fine, I guess, because you don't really have pages right there. But I guess this could really be a problem right here. So we have a couple of cards now, all on the right side of the first card. And this is the cards group. And usually we should actually just change the width of this group to just view this one little card that we have. And now we should actually set it to page and it should work somehow. Not really sure what the problem is exactly in this example, but you see that, as I said, it's, it's possible to get some problems. Maybe you have a fix for that, would like to hear that in the comments. Um, if we set it to scroll, we shouldn't really have a problem because you maybe have a list of like 20 items or 50 items or something like that and you want the user to really uh, use it to scroll through all your items and to maybe find one that he really likes. But if you have like only, at, as in this first example, for example, three cards, then this is the way to go. Use a page setting for that change the opacity of the cards that aren't in the point of view of the user and really try to maximize like the experience of browsing these cards by changing the effect. You also know Tinder and so on, they are just using a swipe animation and cards and the cards are turning. I guess we could do something like that as well. Not really sure, this is just like a... Uh, something that I want to try out for the moment while we are here in this tutorial. Let me go to card one and let me change the angle. And in this position right here, and let me also just get rid of the second uh, artboard. Right here, I want an angle which looks like somehow like this maybe. So we have a small turning animation. So you see it's really turning to the right side. Of course we could also increase this. It would probably look kind of dumb. But I want to show you what is really possible uh, using, using principle. Now you see we can really flip these cards. It looks really dumb. But you can of course just define what kind of screen or page transition you would like to use for these cards and for swiping. Um, you can really lose it, use it a lot, you can change the width, the height, you can scale them, you can, as I just did it, change the angle and rotate them around in a weird way, which wouldn't be great for the user, but I guess we could also fine tune this and make a great animation. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. We didn't use drivers and the horizontal or vertical 
uh, setting for a quite long time and I think it was about time to just use it again to just view the like stuff that we can do with this feature of principle and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial so thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week see you